Is Michael Peel on the verge of getting sacked? Well, let's look at his press conference, guys, because, of course, Big Potter apparently turned down the job yesterday, according to credible journalists. But Michael Peel had his only piece to say today because he does not believe the job, the manager job, is in peril as injuries are revealed. Now, Todd Cantwell is out for three to four weeks, but... Michael Beale says he does not need assurances over his position amid speculation linking other managers with the role. He doesn't believe his job is in peril. Well, let's talk about it. Is his job in peril? Yes, I think if you're literally one more bad result away in domestic football for getting the sack, I think your job's in peril. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what way you could spin it now. If we get beat by Real Betis, I don't think Beale's getting sacked. I think if you lose or drop points to St. Johnson, it's pretty much sack city, baby. I, I can't see this guy lasting long. Now, if we drew against St. Johnston, it, I, 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 I think you'd struggle to find a Rangers fan that would be backing Beale. As of right now, I would say it's probably about 90-10. 90 want him out. Or at least 90 have no faith in him. I think there's a difference between having no faith and wanting someone out. A lot of people have no faith, but they don't really want to see him sacked because they think, oh, well, there's no guarantee bringing someone else in will be better. But I think if he drops points against St. Johnson tomorrow, that 90 is going to turn into a high 90. I think I think that's just as simple as it's going to get. So the Ibrox boss is under pressure after X in the Champions League and, of course, the league defeats by Kelly and Celtic. I mean, come on. Four games in the league so far, man, we've lost two. That's, that's pretty much unacceptable. Um... Beal, of course, confirming that Cantwell, and we kind of already knew about Doyle, is out for three to four weeks. And he says, and I quote, a football manager needs to win games of football. Well, you've not been winning many games of football, Michael Beal, have you? No, you've not. Like, forgive, forgive, forget about PSV in the Celtic game. Because Rangers this season have been pr playing pretty shit. For the Kelly game, it was like gradually getting better. Like, uh, uh, an encouraging performance against PSV at home and then a pretty good re away result against Ross County. And the performance first half was pretty good. I think the second half was pretty poor, but yeah, the game was done. So I I'm willing to forgive that. But re it's been a pretty poor season. Like, yeah, we beat Livingston 4-0, right? But for 75 minutes, it was pretty diabolical. It was. Then we turned the screw and, you know, subs changed that game, I guess. But losing to Kelly, losing to Celtic, out the Champions League, a tough enough Europa League group. Celtic at the Cup, so Beale has that lifeline. Um, and will that be the, the deciding factor, however or not how long he stays? Because, of course, we do play Livingston in 12 days. I'm fully expecting Rangers to beat Livingston. That's just the reality of that. I mean, I don't, I don't see a world where Livingston come to Ibrox and knock them out. And if they do, that 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 I would I would pretty much guarantee you that's what would get Beal the sack. If we win out the cup at home against Levy at uh, Ibrox, man, it really is that simple. Um, he says, the last two we didn't win, so we need to get back to winning ways. Right now, the team needs to show stronger performances. Naturally, I speak to Chief Executive James Bezgrove every day. I speak to Chairman John Bennett and other members of the board at least two to three times a week as normal. Nothing has changed. In that respect, I don't need assurances. I'm a part of a plan in terms of where we're going as a club. It's something I'm fully aware of and I'm involved in. I mean, he says right now the team need to show stronger performances. For me, that's weak, right? I understand the team's pish and they're not really performing. But, Bill, you're picking the team. You're picking the tactics. And we all talk about here on this channel, whether it be on this channel or, you know, fucking forums, in real life, super scoreboard, whatever... People have got problems who who he picks informations. Fucking sort it out. Sort the team out. I, I think that like, why can't he come out and like condemn himself and the team? He's like so ah oh, it's, it's just the team. The team needed to show stronger performance. No, no, you need to pick fucking different teams, man. People have been crying it for weeks that Dessers can't fucking be starting. Danilo, six million pound man, he needs to be playing. You know, people are crying out for, for an attempt to play free at the back and push the full backs a wee bit further up, man. People are crying out for that. What's he doing? Talking a load of fucking shite. It's, it's comments like that that make people turn against Beal, man. Like, we're not, we're not fucking delusional. Obviously, the team needs to produce stronger performances, but fucking come out and say, you know what? It's not been good enough for, for all parties at the club. But no, he puts it on the team. Beal, you're just as fucking shite as them. So anyway, that's what we're signing out here on Folk Football. Will Beal still be in a job come the end of September? I'm saying no. Fuck it. I'm making a prediction. There you go. Beal's pish. Beal is pish. Come on, Beal.